Hi everyone, Josh from Had a Laptop here, and we have a quick question about what to do when your laptop only works when it's plugged in. So in this situation, basically your laptop will immediately turn off when you disconnect the charger from the laptop. And in this situation, it means that your battery is actually charging. You can see the battery indicator on your laptop, uh, on the desktop, and this is simply an issue where, despite the fact that your battery is holding a charge, your laptop immediately turns off when you unplug it. Now, the quick answer here would be that your battery is just bad, and that may be the case, but before you go trying to replace your battery um, or bring you into a service technician, there are a couple of quick things that you can do to make sure that it's not just a simple software error that you can fix in Windows. Okay, so now again, I do want to point out this error that I'm talking about here is for people who actually can charge their battery. So if you go down to the bottom right here, you should see a battery indicator. You can see here, I'm not, I'm not charging my laptop right now. You can see that the battery says two hours and two minutes, 80% remaining. When I plug my charger in, it works fine. The battery will charge just like normal. I have it unplugged, but um, I want to point this out because if you do not see a battery icon there, when your laptop is plugged in, uh, that's a whole different issue. That means that the computer is not even registering that the battery is there. That means the battery could be faulty. It still actually could be um, one of these, uh, a software issue that I'm about to explain, but it may indicate a more serious issue. So I can see the battery there, it charges, there's no issue with that. Um, what we wanna address is what, you know, if I unplug the charging port, uh, that the laptop immediately shuts off. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go to the search bar, um, and my, my laptop is plugged in now, and obviously yours is gonna have to be plugged in at this point. So you wanna go to the search bar, and you wanna type device, pull up your device manager. The second listing down, or you know somewhere near the top, it should say batteries. Double click there, open up that tree. Um, you should see two entries. One is Microsoft AC adapter. That's your power cord and your actual AC adapter that you plug into the wall. The second is your Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery. Now that's what actually controls at the hardware level your battery um, uh, using as a source of power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on that. This is our troublemaker here. We're gonna click disable device. It's gonna tell you that it'll cause it to stop functioning, which it's already not functioning. Uh, yes, we do want to disable it. Um, you can wait a second here. Now what I wanna point out is that after you disable this, if you go back down to the taskbar, you'll notice that the battery icon is gone. Uh, it no longer sees the battery as a source of power for the laptop. So again, if you didn't see it beforehand, you know, we'll see what happens when you turn it back on, but you'll notice that when I have this disabled, you no longer see the battery there and it cannot charge. We're gonna go back up, we're gonna right click, we're gonna enable the device, give it a second, and you'll see that my battery icon has indeed come back and you can see that it is plugged in and charging. So this is the easiest method. Um, you know, you could do a quick uh, restart uh, on your computer to make sure that everything has taken effect and then try to unplug the charger from your laptop. Now, if it doesn't work, there is one more uh, option that you have within Windows 10 to get this sorted out. So for this, you're gonna go into Command Prompt, go to your search bar and search for Command. Once you open up the command prompt, you're going to type power CFG space hyphen restore default schemes. And this is one word, restore default schemes. Double check your spelling, make sure everything's good, and press enter. Now what this is gonna do is uh, it's gonna reset all of your power plan settings. Um, you know, you, you may have changed some of these. Maybe you've changed how long it takes for your display to go to sleep. Um, maybe you've, um, you know, changed it so that it, um, your processor runs at full power, um, even when it's not plugged in. Whatever the case may be, this will uh, restore all of those settings back into the default. So if we open up the power here, power and sleep settings, and we go to additional power settings, you'll see that uh, you only have one selected plan and it's just your balanced recommended plan that comes loaded into Windows 10 by default. 
if you had a high performance plan or something else, that will be cleared out and you will be back to your default settings. Now, between these two methods, one of those two things should help fix your issue. Um, if it's, if, if both of these things, if you try both of these things and it's not working still, it may be a battery issue. You may want to check it, uh, you know, you may want to bring it into a repair shop, check your warranty, call your manufacturer and make sure that's not something that you can replace. Um, a lot of laptops these days do not have user serviceable batteries, you know, where you pop it out and pop it back in. They can still be replaced fairly easily if you're comfortable opening up the laptop and um, disconnecting the old battery and replacing it with a new one. But it is more complicated um, and it's definitely, you know, something we'd have to purchase a new battery to do. So hopefully these two software solutions have worked for you. If you found value in the video, please drop a like and I would appreciate a subscription to the channel. Uh, if you'd like this video, I do lots of other videos with laptop tutorials, how to's, problem fixing. And if you have any questions about your laptop, feel free to drop a comment below and I will be happy to answer it and maybe even make a video about it in the future. Thanks.